Hey everyone and welcome to the complete guide to AI kits. By the end of this beginner friendly tutorial, you'll know exactly how to package your assets within Taskit and use pre-made kits to share workflows easily. So what exactly are AI kits? Well, AI kits let you bundle your custom AI agents, projects, automations, and templates into one ready-to-go package that you can use yourself or share with your team. Whether you're running a business, managing projects, or just looking to streamline your workflow, AI kits do the heavy lifting for you and reduce repetitive tasks. So here's what you can include in an AI kit. First, AI agents. Think of AI agents as your little digital helpers inside Taskit. They can write, summarize, brainstorm, and even analyze data for you based on the information and knowledge you feed it. Kind of like a trainable smart assistant that never sleeps. Next, automations. Automations are basically a series of actions that you can create within Taskit to free up your time from repetitive tasks. Imagine flipping a switch and having things happen on their own. Automations in Taskit do just that. You set up simple rules and Taskit takes care of the rest for you without leaving the app. For example, when a new email comes in, Taskit can automatically summarize its content using your customizable AI agent and then send a written reply. And lastly, projects. These are full-featured workspaces with task lists, notes, and workflows. Think of AI kits as pre-built workspaces. You don't have to start from scratch. Just grab a kit, tweak it to your needs, and you're good to go. So now I'm going to show you how to access AI kits. For this tutorial, I've created a new folder within my workspace that is completely empty. It has no projects, agents, automation, or media, nothing at all. If you haven't noticed, this drop-down menu is a new update to help you with navigation across your projects and workspaces. Okay, so to access the kit templates that we have created for you, you want to first go to the kits section. So you can just click here or the one on top, both of them leads you to the same place. And what you want to do after that is just click on this hyperlink and it will lead you to a new tab. So in here, you can browse from ready-made AI kits across different industries. You can click on a kit to preview what's inside and for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. When you click on a kit, you will be able to preview what's inside of it. Every single one of our custom kit templates will come with a quick start guide that will teach you how to use the kit. It also comes with a number of project templates, agents and automations. Sometimes there can be one of each, sometimes three and it depends on the complexity of the use case. But for this kit, we only have one quick start guide, one agent, and one automation. What you want to do is just click add to workspace and you'll be able to add the kit in whatever folder that you want. And for this case, I'm just going to click YouTube tutorials here. And you'll be prompted with this notification here. You can just click view space. So previously, we didn't have anything inside this project. And now it's populated with a quick start guide, an AI agent, and an automation. So what you can do as well is you can edit these as you want. Every single one of these assets are customizable. But important to note is don't forget to turn the automation on. If not, it won't work. Okay, so right now I'm going to show you how to create your own AI kit. You can either start a new project if you're creating a template from scratch or you can select an existing one. For this tutorial, I am actually just going to go ahead and use this folder, the one that we just imported the kit in. And let's just pretend as though I created these assets by myself. So after you've set up your AI agent, your automations, and all the assets that goes in this folder, what you want to do is just right click on the title of this folder and just select create AI kit. You'll be prompted with this notification here. Just click proceed and your kit has been created. It's as simple as that. You can just click view AI kit to view the assets in the kit and bam, everything is included here. And you can just click share if you're done adding assets into here. But if you want to remove something, you can also do that. Let's say if I, I don't want this agent right here, I can just click remove and it'll be removed from this kit. And I can just share that to whoever I want, whether it being your team or your clients. Just click on public access here and copy the link and you'll be able to share this link with your team members or other departments or your clients even. When they open the link, this is what they will see. Before you start, here are some quick tips to prevent any common hiccups. First, customize your AI agents to fit your workflow. 
The more knowledge you feed your agent, the more accurate your output. Next, test automations before deploying them to ensure accuracy. I can't stress this one enough. Please make sure that your automation is running before you package it in your kit. It's always easier to troubleshoot problems at the source, so make sure you keep an eye on your automation flows. Nobody likes a kit with a broken automation. Lastly, keep refining your kits based on feedback and usage. We've come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Click the link in the description to start using AI kits for free. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more Taskit tutorials. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.